Hello, 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 hello. Warm up my face. Elijah the fish. Hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hello. Hi, I'm Becky. I blog at Diary of a Fat Bottom Girl. This year I will be attending my second blog on blogging conference at Manchester Science of Industry Museum. Um, Cara at Chelsea Mama has arranged for a little linky so we can get to know each other a bit more before we attend the blog. Blog? Blogging conference. <laughs> it is the great big, I'll read it out. Um, the great big blog on icebreaker linky. So I thought I would do something different because this year I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. So instead of, I don't know why I did that. I've no idea. My comfort zone? Maybe because it's growing. Anyway, <coughs> excuse the cough. I will not sound this coffee and horrible when we are together in May. So instead of writing down my answers to the questions for the big blog 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 the big blog on icebreaker linky i thought i would record it and then you can see my mush and hear my voice and then when you can hear me squawking and squalling when we are at manchester science and industry museum you will think that's who i want to speak to or oh god there's that squawk crew we need to avoid anyway so i'm going to start with these questions and i apologize if i keep looking down i've written them here um and I'm going to answer them as best as I can. So the first one is share a recent picture. Well, I will share a recent picture here. And obviously you can see what I look like here. Although I might wash my hair for when we go. I would definitely have nicer hair. The second question. Question. Do describe yourself in three words. Okay. This is quite tricky. So I'm going to go for smiley, um, positive, I've got a very positive attitude to life in general and most things. And the third one, hmm, my friends might say loving or caring. I think I'm really funny. So that could be a third one. But I think I'll go unorganised because I am pretty unorganised in most things apart from things at work, which I am super organised. Three, how long have you been blogging for and what made you start? I started my blog, Diary of a Fat Bottom Girl, in 2012 it was mainly because I wanted a place to go and write, but also at the time I was trustee for a children's bereavement charity, that at the time was called Me To You, and we were trying to raise some funds and I <laughs> decided that I was gonna try and run a half marathon, and for people who know me will know that's ridiculous because I don't run at all. Um, so it was to document how I was getting on with my training and to gain a bit of interest and hopefully raise some money for the charity. Unfortunately, I didn't end up doing it because I was ill at the time. Um, and it evolved from there. I liked writing. I've always loved writing. So it's evolved from that point to what it is now, which is an eclectic place for thoughts from in here. Question four. Favourite TV programme as a child? Hmm. Do you know I don't know? There was the American ones, like Saved by the Bell or Sweet Valley High. I think I still know all the words to Sweet Valley High. See that girl in a crowded room and I see there's a beauty standing. I won't sing for you. I just did, didn't I? Anyway, um, maybe the one, I can't remember what it's called, but there was a little creature in it and it had a pot belly and it squeezed itself and gave you wishes. If you can let me know what that is, that would be fantastic. But I think that might have been my favourite programme. Something. Thing interesting you might not know about me um, I'm pretty down the line normal I'm uninteresting oh I am qualified I'm a qualified scuba diver I can scuba dive up to open water up to 20 meters um, although I've not dived for years many years oh god 
about nine years. But yes, I am a qualified scuba diver. Question six. Weirdest food you've ever eaten? Hmm. I don't know. Like most food. I'll try most things. I once nearly tried snails on a school trip to France. I chickened out at the last minute. I've never had frog's legs. I don't think like oh, when I was younger, <laughs> I don't know whether I should admit this. When I was younger, um, we, me and my sister tried dog biscuits just to see what they'd taste like. Only like the Borneo ones, not like dog meat. Ugh, not going too far. Like a little nibble of a dog biscuit. Is that too gross? Too gross. Question seven, I think we are. Biggest fashion faux pas. Anything I wore when I went to high school. So anything from 1992 to 1997. Anything within that range. Fashion faux pas. Question eight. Pet peeves. Have we got all day for my pet peeves? Okay, pet peeves. One, people who um, can't use a mini roundabout. It's the same as a big roundabout, only mini. Second, um, CDs and DVDs not going back in the right box. Uh, two, three, people who smoke outside hospitals. You're ill. When they're attached to a drip, it just winds me up. Please, <laughs> give yourself a couple of days off. Um, there's many, many others. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Question nine. Three perfect dinner guests and why I would have them. Okay, my first guest would be Malk, who was uh, my father-in-law, who sadly passed away 11 years ago. This was actually one of his questions. He would always ask this to get a conversation going. Um, so he would definitely be there. Second person would be my husband, Chris who is great in social situations, um, he always makes, he's a great mediator between people, um, introducing people and uh, list, listening to what they've got to say, he always has something in common with someone he's talking to, so definitely Chris. And the third person would be, ooh, Marilyn Monroe, why not? Question 10. If there was a movie of your life made, what would it be about and which actor would play the part of you? Oh my god. Right, let me start with an actor. Zoe Deschanel. Do you know Zoe Deschanel? She would. Just because I think she's she's kind of cute, pretty. I like her. She's quirky, got a quirky dress. I like her dress sense. So maybe her. It's nothing like mine, but it's maybe what I aspire to be. Um, but what would it be about? I don't know. I don't know. Which part of my life would it be about? I don't know. That's a tough question, Cara. Question 11. If you lived in any sitcom, sec, sec, <laughs> sitcom, what would it be? It would be New Girl <laughs> that has Zoe Deschanel in just because I think it's fun and it's very silly and I do quite, I don't even know if it's classed as a sitcom. I don't even know if you have seen it, but I do enjoy it and I think it's rather fun. So that's what I would choose. Question 12. Which famous person have you met? Okay, I've probably briefly met a couple of famous people or semi-famous people, but probably most recently the most famous person I've met is Danny Miller of Emmerdale fame. He is the co-founder of a charity that I have volunteered for, Once Upon a Smile, and I was at a sparkly dinner, fundraising dinner for them, um, before with them, before Christmas, and he was um, there, he hosted the day, and I met him because uh, he was introduced to the table of volunteers, which I was sat on, so him probably is the most famous person I've met recently. Question 13. Which social media platform best describes your personality and why? I would say Twitter because it's completely random. Um, the thoughts and the conversation flicks, uh, which is exactly how my brain works. It starts at one place and then all of a sudden it's at a completely different place. But I often, often have to explain to my husband, Chris or friends how I've got to the initial train of thought to the question I ask or the statement I come out with. So Twitter, because I think that's it works that way. Which picture is on your phone or computer lock screen? Okay, 
don't have one on my computer screen really, it's just a generic one, but on my phone it is a picture of my two kitty winkles. Question 15, how many pairs of shoes do you own? Not enough probably, not enough. I live in Converse and I live at the minute in my Sketches Go Walk. I have um, those two definitely. <laughs> Maybe one or two pairs of going out shoes, not too many. I don't really go out and if I do, I wear flats because I would rather have comfortable feet than longer looking legs. <laughs> Question 16. What period of time in the past would you have most liked to have lived? The 50s for the skirts and the rock and roll dancing. Question 17. If you could go... Travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? There is loads of places on my wish list to travel. Lots and lots, for lots of different reasons. But I think at the moment, the place I would most like to go is to Norway or to Iceland to see the Northern Lights. That's, that's the top of my wish list, if you like. I don't like to say bucket list, but it's the top of my wish list is to see the Northern Lights. Although recently I could have just gone down the road 40 minutes to Crosby Beach. And question 18, what is your guilty pleasure? Okay, my... How wrong is it to admit I like dipping breadsticks in an Nutella jar? Guilty pleasure? That and Zac Efron? He's just not guilty pleasure, he's just a pleasure. Have you seen him? He's a fine figure of a man. Question 19, favourite tipple? Okay, I don't drink a lot, really. But I am partial to a mojito, I love a mojito, and also a strawberry daiquiri, but the slush type, not the really alcoholic with just a bit of ice, it's got to be the slush down one like you'd get on a holiday. The last final question from me, 20, what are your three wishes if you had a genie? Three wishes, oh I don't think there's enough, my first wish would be that we get through, if you might not have read my blog, but if you read my blog, that we get through this year fairly unscathed. No more bad news this year, that'd be my first wish. Second wish is um, that Chris will be cancer free after this next 12 months. And the third wish is that my two kiddies grow up as happy little souls that they are at the moment. Oh, they're good wishes, yes. Right, so that's me, I'm Becky. I apologise if this has been the most shoddy video you've ever watched. Please don't let it put you off coming and saying hello to me when we're at blog on, because I will say hello to you. Although I am absolutely, can I just say, rubbish with names, so if I look blank, it, please don't be offended. It's just because there's a lot in my brain and names seems to be the bit that gets pushed out first, so I apologise in advance. If not, I'll see you in May. Goodbye.